Welcome to Physics Practical Guide number two for YEC 2022. The apparatus needed are all shown on the diagram below. I would like you to pay a very, very good attention to this practical and also watch to the end so that you'll be able to follow every detail that I try to, to portray or try to show in this practical. Also remember, the test tube I mean, the caliper will be used to measure the, the diameter of the test tube or the boiling tube, which is inserted inside the beaker for the experiment. And the major, major thing uh, concerning the heating source, the heating source will be used to heat the water in the beaker to measure the, or to do a comparison between the density of the water when heated and the density of water when not heated. So I am suspecting and predicting that there are going to be two tables of values for when the test tube is heated and when the test tube is not heated. Now I'm going to take on to the procedure for you to be able to know the steps you have to follow. But you must be very careful and pay attention to this video. Now you cut off the fold graph paper as a lining to the inside of the test tube serve to serve as a suitable scale. Load the test tube with sound or least short so that it flows vertically in the liquid with the zero mark just immersed. Note the depth of the immersion H of the zero mark when no mass is added. Add two gram mass to the test tube and record the new depth, capital H, of the immersion, H, of the zero mark. Record capital H minus small h, which is going to be a change in depth, or which is also X, which corresponds to the 2 gram mass. Continue the experiment by adding an additional 5 gram, 7 gram, 10 gram, and 12 gram masses. And in each of the time you add a gram, you have to find the change in the distance or depth for each of the masses. Number six, plot a graph of depth of a Martian X against an additional mass. Measure the diameter of your test tube using the provided caliper. Repeat the experiment when the test tube is heated and compare your graph. What I mean is that when the water in the beaker is heated, you are also going to do the experiment and then compare your graph. So after a much um, experiment, this table of value was shown. You can see the capital H there. The H when a mass is added, and then small h is constant when there was no mass added inside the, 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 the boiling test tube or the boiling tube or test tube, and it's going to is constant for my own experiment, which is 10.7. And then the change in the height or depth recorded. Now let's go to the practical proper to show you how it is done. This is the loaded test tube. So I decided to load this. Then there is a graph. This is a graph which provides my scale for measurement. Then I put some sound and loaded this test tube. But then I have to measure the length which this sound takes inside my test tube. So I have to measure from here to here. And um, the length of my whole graph is 14 cm. So out of the 14 cm, inside here, we have what is left. One. Now, I'm going to put it down here. So I have this string. This is the string. I also have this forcep. This is the forcep. I can use it to pick. Yeah. 
So, and there are other set of masses, and this one comes with this design. You can also have other set of masses you can use, and this one is five grams. And this one is 10 grams. Now, the next thing is, I'm going to measure the height of this tube inside this water. is the height when I have not added this mass. So that first H, that first H, small H, is what I'm going to record. So, the down here, this is the zero mark, according to the graph, let me bring it out. This graph I put inside, this place is my zero mark, so it's increasing as you are going up. So. When I put it there, whatever the length of the depth of emission is, I'm going to record the depth of emission. The depth of my emission is 9.7. 9.7 is within the graph inside, the graph paper inside, 9.7 cm is the Yes. 
3.4. So my H is 9.7. So I'm going to load this. So I'm going to use my five pound to add. Before you put it inside that bowling thing, eh? the what? The what? That grab ball you uh, put inside this thing. Uh, uh, if you can number it because of this thing, uh, uh, you have it in mind, David. The feelings. What when you do the practical, you see challenges. I have it in mind. I have already crossed my mind. So uh, okay, what I do? You must write it down, David. Mm -hmm. That's my problem. I'm having. It. So if you're not smart, I'm going to use. I'm going to use that one once here. It's almost here. Uh -huh. They will not be smart. Good. You know this because they, they have already told us if they are me. Mm, okay. okay. Mm, they are giving us for this year. Yes. <laughs> so that is what I'm seeing here. So I have.
I will add 10 gram mass and record the depth as I have added this 10 gram mass it has depressed it the depth has increased I'm going to uh, I'm going to record the, the the depth of the 10 gram mass then subtract it from the from the depth of the tube when I did not add any mass and that according to me was 10.7 so when I add the 10 gram mass my the depth recorded was 12.8 And I'm going to add 2 and 10 to make it 12, 12 gram according to the instruction from the protocol. So when I added 12 gram, a new depth was also recorded. So the new depth recorded, I'm going to subtract it from the depth of the test tube when no mass was added. And it's constant throughout this experiment, which is 10.7. So when I look at it, avoiding parallax error while reading my test tube, I'm going to record the depth of the new one and do my calculation by subtracting it from the original one. And, and the, what I got is 13. When I added 12 gram mass, I had 13 centimeter length. And I'm going to subtract it from 10.7 and I'm going to have 2.3 as the X